Hi everybody, Jeff here. We're getting set up to grind a variable pitch for flute. It's a 20 millimeter or three quarter um, end mill. And it has a four millimeter rad on the corner, so that's about 157. So some quick items how to set it up. Basically, use your center finder, move the tool out of the way, use your center finder to find the edge, the face, and the edge of the wheel. Get your x-axis set so that it's, you know, the edge of the wheel is on center, which is this face, and then bring your y-axis in. This is set to the center height of the tool. So then you bring your y-axis in just till it touches there. And since it's a ball nose then, what we're going to do is we're going to move off the radius of the grind. So we have my little center finder up there set to 157. And now the tool, what we do to grind a variable pitch is that we pick your most square flutes, ones that are easiest to see, that's your center cutting flutes, using a square. Set them up nice and square. This gets the tool square to the plane of the machine of the x-axis table. And rotate that over 90 degrees. And now, you're, now you can grind those two corners, that one and the one adjacent to it. And then when you want to set up for the next flute, you loosen up the tool. Don't change the length at all. And just uh, set up again the other two flutes, set them up square, <clears throat> and repeat the process and just rotate it over 90 degrees. In this way, what you've done is you've located the the axis of the of the two flutes independently, the horizontal flute and then the vertical flute. Because the way this is, these are pitched a little advanced. So you gotta kind of re-square the tool to the machine before you grind that other radius. Once you get that set up, since this wheel is now set the, the, the distance of the radius that you're going to grind, then all you have to do is bring your tool in. When you're grinding a corner rod, the only feed you do is just with this upper x-axis here. Then you'll bring the tool in with this y-axis until it touches the wheel, and then you're set to the radius and then you only feed with the upper X. You never move the Y because that's your radius to your pivot. And the X, of course, is the center of the pivot in this direction, so. Anyway, if you pick up the square of your flutes with a square before you start, and then just rotate them over 90 degrees, you'll be able to grind the end of each tooth, each flute independently. And they should all be the same length. Thanks for watching.